Hi everyone! Today's video that I promised to do for some time now uh, it's about lipsticks and my lipsticks are majority of them, I would say 90% would be pink nude uh, pink towards nude or nude with pink um, undertone uh, so they uh, most of them are light anyway so I don't I hardly ever wear dark lipstick I, I probably never do um, I just gone through some of mine some of them are a bit brighter maybe more brave uh, but 90% of them would be in in a similar range that I'm going to show you I was trying to think how to structure it by color maybe but it's difficult because some lipsticks are very, very much sort of 50 50 nude pink, uh, especially Charlotte Tilbury. I'm going to show you some. Um, so I'm going to go by brand. So the first one to show you is uh, Dolce Gabbana, it's a brand that I have um, as a makeup brand. I discovered not too long ago, maybe about four or five years ago. Um, Accidentally, I bought something and I totally loved it. Uh, it's uh, my baby darling lipstick, which I don't think they actually do anymore. Um, they, I was trying to find it, but there are so many nice alternatives. So I'm going to do um, swatches on my um, fingertips because this is closest to your lips color. And when you're swatching lipsticks, you should always try to do it on the on the on top of your fingertips rather than rather than on your arm here, because this color is much lighter than your natural lips. Um, though it gives you a good idea of the color, but it's not how it will look on your lips, so bear it in mind. So I'm gonna just take this off. Um, by the way, while we're talking about this, I just want to give you my first impression of uh, Dior Prestige Foundation absolutely incredible foundation um i will probably do separate video i just wanted to show you i had i bought it months ago over a month ago now and i i didn't get a chance to to try it so i went for um i think number yeah number 2n neutral which is good for both sort of pinky undertone and and yellowish undertone so neutral is uh, the one to go for i think but we talk about it separately it's just a quick um, qu quick answer to a question about uh, Dior Prestige. So that's how it looks and this is um, it's very warm nude w with a warm pink in it and it's um, the te texture of it is so beautiful you don't need lip gloss um, for me it's important to see how lipstick looks sits on you without without lip gloss um, so that's baby darling uh, Dolce Gabbana the other one uh, is also by Dolce Gabbana called Tease Tease is one of the new I think more or less new for me anyway this one is more pinky. I'm gonna try and bring it. That swatches. Dolce Gabbana teas. The other one, I got a funny story with it. I ordered um, from Harrods. And they sent me that. I said, what's that? It looks like it's either tester or um, display or something. I don't know. And they refunded me money in full. Um, so I'm just waiting for Baby Darling to finish and wear that cup, um, the top, um, for the bullet. Um, so that's how it looks. This is lovely Peony. Um, absolutely beautiful lipstick. So... I've got it for free. It hasn't got so much shine as the old one, uh, but it's slightly cooler pink. You see? This is actually very similar to um, Valentine, Valentine uh, Charlotte Tilbury. Or even yeah, Valentine probably. There you go. So this is lovely Pioni Dolce Gabbana. The next is my one of my favorite brands, um, Charlotte Tilbury. Uh, her lipsticks, I think, 
out of a whole thing that she's done, I think one of her best things she has come up with was this uh, bronzer, um, highlighter and bronzer um, film, film star bronze and glow. Um, very good, very good texture, very good, very good product. But lipsticks is something that I swear by. I think her lipsticks are very, very good. Um, the champion champion uh, for many years until some others came into into the game so I'll show you into my game um, not necessary in the in the makeup world so my favorite of Charlotte Tilbury um, well one of the favorites because I've got a few is one of the new struct uh, I think it's one of the new formulas uh, this one is Princess Kiss which is one of the it, it's almost like pressed um, um, lip gloss um, because it's so shiny but it also stays on so I don't know how she's done that in her formula but it's it's a good there is a good pigmentation more or less for for a shiny lipstick but also um, glow and gloss um, it looks you see the um, shine maybe I should be doing it here so you can't see much color here um, it's coming out nicely on lips actually it really is princess kiss that is um, looks absolutely beautiful with pretty much everything this is my go anywhere lipstick um, if I were blue gray sort of cool tones or warm green um, I hardly ever wear brown but if I do um, that goes with pretty much anything I've got six others of Charlotte Tilbury so bear with me um, the next one will be blush and dream blush and dream is one of her newish uh, more or less I think it was Christmas really, Christmas um, new, 2020 pretty much, or 2019, but uh, it's more intense, it's got more pigment in it, and I think it's the same range as Kidman Kiss, um, the, way, the way it goes on. Blush in Dream, that is. So it's got a little bit of a... Um, it's a slightly more intense nude, I would say. It's got pink pink in it, uh, but it also... Maybe I should choose another finger. But you'll see here, it's got quite a lot of pigment. So it's just really easy to apply. Uh, is that sort of pigment. That's how it looks on the fingertips. I think it's something between Kidman Kiss and Beach Perfect in terms of the color, maybe. So that is Blush in Dream, Charlotte Tilbury. The next uh, of Charlotte Tilbury is Kidman's Kiss, which is very similar in uh, both color and texture, how it applies. Um, I must admit it's not my favorite um, texture. I like more of kissing range, which is more satin sort of, um, and it, it this is quite buttery and creamy, um, though it's, it's got very good color. It's closer to matte. Um, I don't know if it's actually matte revolution. I'm not sure. I need to check that. I will. I will write it down when I do. Um, when I do edit my video. Uh, so this is Kidman Kiss, um, and it looks like that and it's more it's got a little bit more pink to it though they are very very similar actually Kidman Kiss is let me just do a swatch of the other one again um, so that's Kidman Kiss and this is Blush and Dream ah Blush and Dream is a little bit darker just a little bit darker so that's Kid Kidman Kiss this is Blush and Dream. This is Kidman Kiss. This is Blush and Dream. So you can see the color here better probably, though 
application on the lips is similar to fingertips. So you see Kidman, Kidman's case is slightly lighter. I don't know why, ah, I know why, I bought, because they were so cheap, they were on sale um, in March, right before coronavirus crisis, um, I bought it. Must have been, oh, oh, February, February, I bought it in February. The other three of Charlotte Tilbury is my all-time favorite, is Valentine. Valentine, uh, I think she launched it about three years ago, maybe. She launched it for Valentine's Day. It's perfect nude pink lipstick. Absolutely gorgeous. Uh, it sits well. It's long-lasting. It's probably more summery than others. The color is gorgeous. It's very neutral. It's, it's, it's almost... It's almost the same color as the uh, lips. So that is Valentine. And the other two I also love very much, um, especially Beach Perfect, uh, which I come uh, in a minute. This is Live It Up. I really like that lipstick, similar to, similar to uh, Valentine. Um, I think this one is from uh, Matte Revolution. I'm not sure, actually. It's the same texture as Kidman's Kiss. This is more of a pinky, um, pinky nude again. I do swatch there and there. So that's on the fingertip and that's on my hand, on my arm rather. Um, this is Leave It Up. And my very, very favorite as well. I love them all. I love them all. They're all, you know, very versatile and they they suit pretty much any any uh, makeup you, you could wear this is beach perfect which is more um, sort of towards brown nude a uh, warmer a uh, warmer nude um, it goes perfect with perfectly with a variety of um, eyeshadows you go with um, it's probably more warmer um, from warmer out outlooks and it's about I don't know how many I had, maybe four, five. Uh, I've got one on standby, <laughs> waiting <laughs> waiting for this to finish, and that's a, that's a new one. So as you can see, it's more of the nude, um, sort of brownish, um, though very similar to Valentine and Live It Up, but the texture of a kissing range because she's got different ranges, Matte Revolution, Kissing Range, and something else. Uh, this one I like more. Satin, I think she's got, which is also nice. Uh, but Kissing Range is my favorite because it's long lasting. It looks well. It doesn't necessarily need um, a gloss on the top, though, this one I would wear with um, Seduction Lip Gloss. It adds sort of dimension to it. It looks more luscious, luscious. So this is Beach Perfect. This is my last of uh, Charlotte Tilbury to show you. And then we move on to others. So the next one I want to show you is uh, by MAC, MAC Cosmetics. They have superb lipsticks. They do have really, really good range. And I think the um, affordability of this makeup is is so brilliant because you have both value for money. You've got uh, quality there. You've got um, a really nice looking um, looking makeup. It's it's quite it's quite nice. Uh, I quite like the uh, lipstick formula. Uh, this one is called Cream Cup, which absolutely reflects the name of the, you know, the color reflects the name of a lipstick. So this is, um, that swatch, swatch in the fingertip. And that's how it looks. It's very creamy and it also is long lasting. They're very good lipsticks. Mark, absolutely superb lipsticks. This is only one. I, I had Angel, which is similar to that, um, probably a little bit more pearly, 
probably. The next one I want to show you is uh, called Metallic, number 95 by Gurlain. Uh, you choose your own, obviously, thing, and then you, um, you buy replacement bullet. Uh, this I like because it's metallic, metallic reflection. By in Cola, Cola is similar to um, Beach Perfect Charlotte Tilbury, but texture is nicer. Texture is nicer. It goes lighter, but it sits long as well. So it's in this in this respect, it's um, it's a real bargain. So there we go. So this is number ninety five metallic. Uh, that is a swatch, and that's on the hand. You may say it's more brown, but it's it it's got a lovely pink tone in it, um, and it's got reflection, so it doesn't it doesn't really look as brown as it as it seems to be. Um, I've got three um, by Tom Ford, and I want to show you first the one I had. This is my second of the same lipstick, which is called um, Blush Nude. It must have been in a sort of very warm summer. Uh, it's very summery. I read somewhere, or I saw a video, and I can't remember who it was. I think it probably was uh, Bobby Brown who said, your lipsticks, your lipstick should never be lighter than the natural color of your lips. So it could enhance uh, color, but it shouldn't be lighter. But I, I think this is lighter than my actual color, my own lips. Um, so I don't know. Still use it. For some reason, it's my second one. I know I I used I bought another one. It's very light, um, but it's also nice as combina in combination with others. So if you have something really really bright pink, uh, this will make it more subtle. Um, so this one is Tom Ford Blush Nude. They are very creamy lipsticks. What I don't like. Um, in Tom Ford lipsticks is that they don't last long. They just don't don't last long at all. And the other two are more of a pink. One is a little bit warmer, another another one is a bit cooler. Is a little bit cooler pink. I love it. I love this lipstick. Um, it's called Mastic and it's number 11. There is something in his lipsticks which make you feel really nice, but on the other hand, they don't last long, unfortunately. They're not best in terms of longevity. Mastic. Ah, swatches. Swatches. And that's a swatch. It's quite uh, sort of satin setting and but it's it's very very creamy all of his lipsticks are very creamy and they just don't they don't last very long another one is called almost like curacao uh curry cure curry cure curry a cure um a bit warmer pink very similar to um blush and dream charlotte tilbury That sort of nude pink. Do you know they always they all look very similar on swatches. They're actually not that similar um, when you look at them closer. It's almost like one of my favorite YouTubers, Miss Ranky Cat. She <laughs> she says about the um, nail polishes. She's collecting Chanel, and she's got probably most the best collection in the world. I think she said she's got about three hundred. And I know what she said about them all being, um, they all seem to be similar, but when you actually put them together and compare, like some of them, a uh, few of them in front of you, they are different. The same, I think, with my lipsticks or with lipsticks generally. So they are, um, they're bound to do similar colors, um, but when you look at uh, Blush in Dream and that Curry Cure, they're similar. You see, this one is just a little bit brighter, maybe. Here we go. So, 
God knows why I need so many lipsticks, but I need them. I really do. And Richard understands it. Okay, now I'm moving to a kind of singular... Uh, light, gone on. Uh, singular um, sort of brands that I, I love. And you know, I love Dior. I really do. For some reason, I haven't got so many Dior lipsticks <laughs> as, I, as I have of Charlotte Tilbury. Charlotte Tilbury's lipsticks are superb, very, very good. In Dior, I don't have so many colors for some reason that suit me and my all-time favorite is number 263 uh, which is called Hazard ha it's not Hazard it's Hazard 263 spelled with S um, and this is my all-time favorite I've got four I think three or four on the go in different bags in the office here This is my all-time favorite um, pink lipstick. It's got it all. It's got coolness about it. It's got um, texture that I like, the color that suits me. Uh, it's quite quite universal color. And it's proper pink. It's lovely. I want to do a quick separate video, next one I do, uh, about lip balms. Because this has become a very much... Um, theme of the of this winter and spring for me but hmm, a bit of a balm helps this is my new discovery Laura Mercy Amaretta Swirl uh, this lipstick I uh, how I found it I can't remember how I found it but I I um, I went and I looked online. I, I, no, no, no. I went and looked in the store in John Lewis. I actually look. I now remember. I looked at Tom uh, Mel Thompson. Um, I mentioned her um, as a blogger. She does interesting reviews, uh, and the lipsticks that she was talking about, they actually didn't suit me because I went on in store and I checked. Um, but the one I noticed there, and by color, it looked like it will be it will be ideal for me. Uh, this is Amaretta Swirl. Actually, in real life, it's not as light as it looks there. Um, and I bought it. And this is my... One of the most favorite things. Since I bought it. It has got everything the best of all lipsticks I can think of. The texture, longevity, um, the... the um, the, how it sits on your lips, how you don't feel it, it doesn't doesn't get them like doesn't stick. It's absolutely perfect lipstick and it's got shine in it too. So I think this one is now going to reshuffle entire um competition in lipsticks for me personally. So Laura Mercy, um but I just wish they had more colours. Um the this is probably the best colour that suits me to be honest. But I need to look at some others at some point when I if I ever run out of those. I don't know, maybe I will need to buy more anyway. So I'm sure people like my favorite Miss Frankie Cat understands me in terms of the sh the nail polishes. Why do you need so many? What kind of question is that? Because I love it. This one is um, a boy. Number 54, Chanel, boy. Uh, I don't know why I bought it. I, I had something similar. I ran out of it. And then I, I bought that. Um, I quite liked it. But it doesn't stay at all. Though, first few minutes when you apply... It's very, very natural. It's got pink in it. It's, it's got shine in it. It's got everything. It looks really nice, uh, but it's not the pigmentation is not very st strongest point in it. It's quite pleasant, um, but it just doesn't last at all. It's probably one of the most pleasant lipsticks to apply. Um, it. You need to reapply it all the time. So that's what I think I'm trying to say. It's quite pleasant. It really is. Oh, look at this tissue. And two more to show you. Um, they're not my favorites. 
and I don't think I'm going to buy them again. And it's again because of the influence of uh, one of the vloggers. I think it was again actually uh, Mel Thompson. Uh, I bought this hourglass um, lipstick. I can't remember the name of it. I will I will write it down. Uh, hourglass, uh, one of these sort of very um, long lasting and expensive. It's more or less. Um, it's a tiny, look at that, look at the amount of product there. But they are replaceable, they can be replaced, um, the sticks, as I understand. Um, I didn't like it, it's too matte. I can feel it, I can feel it straight away, it kind of like squooches my lips together. I didn't like it at all. Um, it only probably wear it with balm underneath, and lip gloss on the top, so that m I might um, might bear it. Um, it's small, thankfully. It's very little amount there, so I'll probably get rid of it very soon. Um, I I I didn't like it, but it's got pigmentation. It's got a very good pigment. Um, that's a pigment on the fingertip. I didn't like the texture of it. So um, wearing it with something else would probably make a difference. Wear balm, balm underneath. And I do a separate video on balms in a minute. My last one I want to show you is Le Bouton uh, Très Tre de Calais, which is much more orangey than actually uh, it looks on the website. It's also much more orangey than um, nail varnish. So I don't know why they've done it so different. The quality is very good. It stays on. It's it. It feels nice. It feels nice. It looks okay. I think the color. My problem with Le Bouton is always not the price. I would pay good 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 money for good lipstick. I think it's slightly overpriced anyway. Now I think it comes to about seventy pounds or something. It's to do with probably design more than anything else. But um, um, actual problem I have with them is the color range. Uh, they don't do anything near uh, what Charlotte Tilbury does in terms of the color range. Um, they, it's always, and it seems to be, always looks different to on the website, so I don't know. And this one is from, from uh, Selfridges, so it's, I'm gonna have to find a way of wearing it, uh, maybe with some gloss. Um, it's not that it's um, it's 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 a lovely lipstick. I had another one. I can't remember which one I had before. Actually, it was tread tread de Calais as well. It was pinkier before. It's more. It's strange. I don't know if anyone experienced anything like this. Um, you order pretty much the same thing from the same shop, um, but it's it's different. Maybe they've changed it. I don't know. But anyway, so those are my um, lipsticks to you. I don't know which one my favorite. I like them all. I really do. I'll put my duo. I need to give rest to my, my lips a little bit. And um, I'm going to talk to you about lip balms in a minute, uh, very, very briefly. See you later.